11.3 number four um, is asking us to find the slope. So we still have to use the x plus h rule to find what we call the derivative or tangent line. And then we will use the given point. So notice my numbers are in red, so you will most likely have different numbers. So the first time you do this, you're writing down the limit as h goes to zero. And anywhere you see an x, leave it blank. And you're gonna put this x plus h in. So I only have one x in my problem, so I only have to put x plus h in one time. Then the second part says subtract your function. So remember, we're gonna do minus and a set of parentheses. Then we'll do 4x plus 2 here, because that's our function, and we'll divide by h. So this is the limit as h goes to 0. Distribute the 4, so you end up with 4x plus 4h. Um, don't forget about this plus 2 right here. And then the green stuff, all you have to do is distribute the negative sign, so that would be negative 4x minus 2 and this will be all over h. So now we're looking for things that in green should have their opposite somewhere else. So negative 4x and positive 4x would go away. Negative 2 and positive 2. And I'm just left with these two things. So this would be the, the limit as h goes to 0 of 4 because I only that's it, I can just cross off the h's. Now, if you think about this, what happened is I ended up with a limit of four, and when you look at um, four x plus two, you know, you're gonna have a straight line. Well, it doesn't matter where you would put your dot, your tangent line basically would be the actual line. So that's what's happening is when you have something that's linear, the slope is the same no matter where you're at. That's basically what it's telling you. So we're supposed to find the slope at x equals negative 2. That's my number right, right here. We're doing um, that particular point, but my slope, no matter what, is going to be at 4. So depending on what your slope is in the problem, doesn't matter where you look, your slope is always going to be the same for linear functions.